So which is the best Android skin, Oxygen OS or the One UI? I'm going to talk about all the important things that really matter and how each skin can actually improve for a better software experience. So basically you get a better idea about each skin and what you can expect from either skin. So if you're new to the channel, like this video, also subscribe guys. Let's begin. So you can see the software details. On one hand, we have the Oxygen OS 11 running Android 11 and the One UI 3.1 on top of Android 11 as well. So let's look at the home screen. You have the Google feed on the Oxygen OS, which feels more stockish. On the One UI, you have this uh, Samsung feed. On some phones, you can disable and enable the Google feed, but on this particular phones and some other flagship phones, you are stuck with the Samsung feed. I personally prefer the Google feed, but it's up to your own personal preference. The Oxygen OS has a bit more stock Android vibe. You can see the status on the Samsung. It is translucent and it is kind of a bit more flashy. Uh, again, it depends on your personal taste. Both of them have the launcher where you can enable or disable the launcher on either of these. And you can also increase or decrease the size of the icons on the Oxygen OS, but it's not possible on the Samsung. But you can install a completely different theme which could indeed reduce or increase the icon size. Also the animation feel a bit faster on the Oxygen OS. You can see particularly when you are exiting the app, the animation on the Samsung feels a bit slower compared to the Oxygen OS. I did not change the animation speed on either of these, but even if you do, it doesn't seem to help with the slower animation speed. So this one is important. Samsung has this one-handed UI philosophy. For example, now I am at the bottom of the screen. Now, if I want to search for something, I can actually uh, pull this down like this and you can see I can start doing it with one hand, which is very useful. OnePlus tried doing something similar, but it works on the home screen of the settings. But when you move into sub menus inside, you can see here, One UI still maintains that uniformity, but on the Oxygen OS, if you try to reach down, then it doesn't really work. This feels like a half-baked constipated implementation. Let's look at the dark mode. One UI has a bit more darker theme, whereas on the OnePlus, it is a bit more grayish. I personally like the One UI's dark theme. Also, if you go into the sub menus on the One UI, again, Samsung maintains that uniformity and consistency. But on the Oxygen OS, in the sub menus, it looks a bit more darker, almost pitch dark. So Oxygen OS feels a little rough around the edges. If that's not enough, just look at this. This is the Amazon Prime video, wherein the video can be completely stretched to the full screen on the One UI. Whereas on the Oxygen OS, it's simply not possible. Just let me show you here. So you can see even after stretching, there is a black bar on top. So basically you need to force these apps to run full screen. And there is actually a setting on both the skins. You can see here, full screen apps. If you look at the Samsung or the One UI, you can see Netflix or the Prime Video is ticked. Hence, they play full screen without any issues. Whereas on the Oxygen OS, you can see it does not display any apps, most of the apps. Believe it or not, this has been like this for a long, long time. I already made a video on this. You can check it out. Also, Samsung Dialer has the call recording option built in with a lot of options. You can see here, you can auto record calls and you can do a lot of settings inside. Whereas on the Oxygen OS, I mean, on some phones, they are bundling the Google Dialer, which has limited options. For example, this phone itself. But One UI is not perfect either. Just open the weather app and you will find this ad. If you look at the settings, I did turn off the marketing and other recommendation stuff. But still, I do get to see this ad, which is really unacceptable. Also, I got a couple of unwanted notifications from this app, but ever since I turned this off, I did not see any notifications, but it's a shame that Samsung is doing this. Both of them have the always on display and when you get a notification, you get to see this icons so that you know where you are getting the notification from. But in terms of the customization, Oxygen OS has some nice clock styles, but they are very limited. But on the Samsung, you get a lot of things like you can choose from gallery or you can choose some GIFs or you have the theme store where you have a ton of always on displays. So in terms of customizing the always on displays, Samsung wins hands down. If you're into theming and stuff, One UI has a lot of customization like an entire theme store where you can change fonts, icons and the 
entire theme itself whereas on the oxygen os it's very limited you can change the accent colors or icon packs but you cannot really change the fonts and there is no theme store as such so in terms of personalization definitely one ui wins again Apart from that, Samsung offers a lot of software services like the Samsung Pass, which autofills your passwords and is like a password manager. And you have the famous secure folder where you can keep all your private files in a vault, encrypted and backed by Knox security. So in terms of security as well, One UI offers uh, an additional layer of security, I would say. Even if you look at the features, One UI is packed with a lot of features. It almost gets confusing so i cannot really begin to talk about all the features in this video but i would say this oxygen os is a very simple and straightforward cleaner ui with some little tweaks and customizations better than the stock android and this is what brings people to oxygen os the simplicity and that cleaner ui but there is definitely a room for improvement one ui on the other hand feels heavyweight with a lot of samsung apps a lot of software services and a ton of software features. I hope they trim down the software a little bit and get rid of the ads. After all, these are two of the best Android skins available on the Android. So anyway, you let me know which one you like the best. Also make sure you like this video, also subscribe guys. That's been it, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.